hatred, from anger, you know, mm. from delusion, from ignorance. So they are very good teachings to make ourselves become more confident and become more aware of what we are and why we are here and where are we going to. So this is a, a very good uh, case to be aware of since uh, we have lived our life uh, for a period of time. Some people they may not uh, realize that uh, how did they come here, why uh, we born as a human being and what is the purpose of being born as a human being and how to live this life, a meaningful life, a life which, which is full of uh, good action, which is full of wholesome or meritorious action. You may know all of them, right? So uh, if you have read some of the teachings from Buddhism, uh, that uh, some of the important aspects that the Buddha taught uh, which has the ground of morality or developing virtue is one of the foundation, the, the ground that we have to stand on uh -huh. without the morality, the base of virtue for example like the five moral precepts that taught in Buddhism you want to avoid from uh, harming any creatures or living beings or to kill mm -hmm. any living beings and secondly to avoid from taking what is not given or abandoned from stealing and third to avoid from sensual misconduct and fourth to avoid from telling lies and the fifth is oh. to avoid from uh, taking intoxicated drinks and drugs so these five moral precepts are very important fundamental principle for us to live a very happy life this is the actually is the essence of uh, life that we need to undertake, we need to fulfill in the name of human being. Mm -hmm. By so doing, we make our present living happier and also we shape a good destination for our future rebirths. Because we, everybody has to die one day, sooner or later. But most important thing, how good they have spent their life doing good they doing good things in this uh, present life. Mm. Yes, as we have learned in the Buddha's teaching that everything has a cause and effect. So because of good cause in the past, it gives a good result in the, in the present. Mm. And with our good actions in this present moment, it will produce to a good result in the future. So as human beings come into birth, come into existence, so do human beings will also pass away but after passing away they will also um, you know gain another rebirth which we call uh, uh, you know after we die we have to born again mm -hmm. you know because uh, where there is birth there is a death and where there is death there must be a birth again so if we want a good or what we call a blissful existence for the next rebirth we have to shape, we have to perform good deeds in this very present life. You got the meaning? Very sure. Yeah, okay. That's good. So, uh, do you remember the five precepts that I just told? The five precepts? Just now I just uh, mentioned about the five precepts, which are the uh, fundamental uh, teachings to make us a, a happy living. So one is to avoid from harming any living creatures. Remember? Yeah, no killing. Okay. Number two, no stealing. Okay. Number three, no sensual misconduct. Number four, no lying. No false speech. And number fifth, finally, no intoxicated drinks and drugs. This is the uh, basic principles of Buddhist teaching, of the okay. teachings of the Buddha. Do you remember that? Okay. Can you try counting them? I try. Yeah, okay. Number one. Number, number one. Yeah, okay.
Okay, no lying. No. Uh... Drugs, drugs, no, it's drugs. Yeah, no, no alcoholic drinks or drugs. Yeah. Yeah. And then. No. Uh... I'm sorry. No. No killing. No killing. Yes. No. Else. Stealing. Stealing, yeah, no taking what is not given, like to steal other properties. Yeah. Mm. yeah. So this is actually the very basic principle for uh, all Buddhists, uh, not just Buddhists, Wayne Tahanda.